It is time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Me Mega Tournament where we are continuing our innovation micro tournament with Artifacts of History. We're going to take a look at this expansion and I'll tell you a little bit about it. First of all, um, like with cities, part of the, the, I think the intended goal with the expansion is to make the meld action more exciting. So whereas cities, you would get to draw a city if you melded a new color. In Artifacts, if you meld atop a color that you already have, and it's equal or lesser in value, then you get to draw an artifact. Now an artifact, unlike every other card in the game, does not go into your hand. Instead it goes right on here. And then at the start of a, you can meld it from there if you want, as though it were in your hand via a meld action. Or at the start of your turn, you can decide to just automatically dogma it and then return it. Or you can decide to just get rid of it because you can only have one thing there, so you might want to make room for something else. And that's, that's basically, what the expansion adds. Um, the artifact cards are generally pretty powerful, um, oftentimes very situational, but they, they're, they're strong, especially for their age. Um, these things you see here are lost relics that you can, t you can um, when you take an artifact of their corresponding age, you can decide to take a relic as well. Now when you take a relic, you can either put it in your hand or you can take it as an achievement. The reason why you put it in your hand is so you can use it. You take it as an achievement, um, because you want an achievement. Uh, one reason you might not want to do that is because someone else who takes a relic for, or takes an artifact from the age, when I say artifact, I mean a purple card, they can take the relic from your achievements pile. So it's not like a, it's not a very stable achievement. Kind of reminiscent of the um, decrees in that regard. All right, so let us get started. Okay, here we have our starting cards. Chinky has sailing. Banana has metalworking, and Dancing Bear has riding. Um, so Banana is going to be going first. She's going to draw and reveal a wand. If it has a tower score, it repeat this dogma effect. It does. It does. It does. It does not. So then she just keeps it. That's her whole turn. Dancing Bear used her riding to draw two, and then she melded it. She sees all those juicy ones in Banana's score pile and she could use those to get two ones, which is nice. The downside to that is that will deplete the one deck even faster, allowing people to catch up with her in age. What I'm talking about here is map making. You transfer one from your score pile if it has any of my score pile. Um, another nice thing about this is uh, Chinky has sailing up, so then she would be able to copy that, which is pretty good. I mean, she is in twos, but still getting a lot of cards down is always good to do, if you can. Not always, but it's generally. All right, we're back around to Banana. She's going to do some more metalworking. If she can get this too, yep, she's going to keep going, but she's, oh, she's got mathematics. Okay, so she's got enough for the first achievement. She's going to go ahead and take that. Banana pulls out in the objective lead. I think this game has an objective lead. Uh, well, there's, there's leads in all sorts of different dimensions, which is partly what makes this game fun, but she's closer to winning. All right, Dancing Bear used her map making to uh, pretty well decimate Banana's score pile. Banana can just probably build it back up again, and she'll be drawing twos instead of uh, ones, which are immune to the map making. So that's kind of a short-term burn on Dancing Bear's part. Um, Chinky is going to go ahead and meld these tools that he has, and then he's going to go ahead and dogma it. And so I'm going to return these later, but he gets to draw and meld a three. And he's got optics, which is a nice card. Good job. Banana is opting not to use her metalworking anymore. Instead, she melded mathematics and drew a card. Uh, Dancing Bear over here is going to... I think she's going to go ahead and demand the transfer of that last one in here. Just to get some more points, maybe she can take the next achievement. So now she's got six, seven, eight, nine. She's one point short. Um, she can go and get a point with her pottery, and I think she will. That's her score of one. So now she has ten, but she can't achieve this turn. Chinky using engineering, he got engineering by using optics, um, is going to take all these towers. The towers are going to start to come down and put them in his score pile. Basically, that gave him... Um, Pretty good board dominance right now. He's got more icons. Doesn't have more leaves, but he's got more stuff, and that's always nice. Um, I think Banana will go ahead and return this two in order to draw and meld a three. That gives her feudalism. 
That's not going to be very useful right now, but she'll go ahead and draw a three. Dancing Bear got an achievement and drew a card. Um, Chinky drew and melded paper, which could be pretty useful to him soon. We're going to go back to Banana for the mathematics. And Chinky should have kept a card in his hand, but he didn't do that. Uh, draw and meld a four. Now, now let's see. Demand you return a card from your score pile. That's not going to... Well, actually... That might be pretty useful, actually. Yeah, I think she's going to go ahead and hit that demand. Um, that's going to tear up Dancing Bear pretty hard there. So Dancing Bear either has to return a 2 uh, from her score pile or a 1. If she returns a, a 1, she, ha she loses her pottery. And that's maybe not so bad, because then she'd have writing and be able to skip the 1s. But she's not that far from skipping the ones anyway. So she's gonna return a two, and she's okay. And then Chinky is going to return a two as well. He doesn't care that much about points at this point. I mean, the, these are like small potatoes points here. Haven't seen any artifacts come into play yet. All right, we did another round of turns, just a little bit of board development, nothing really that exciting. Um, Nancy Bear's just been drawing cards. She doesn't really have anything she wants to meld yet, so she's gonna just keep drawing cards. She could be scoring, I suppose, but she's not gonna be able to get, let's see. I think she'll go ahead and meld philosophy. That's pretty useful to her right now. So Banana was a fast scorer, but she's seen her entire, um, her entire score pile decimated. Uh, Chinky just took her last two with his navigation. He got four points off of that. Um, what does she want to do? Oh, we could do something fun here. She's going to meld this, which is going to, since she's covering up this four card, it's going to let her put a relic down. Let's see what kind of relic we get here. The Hunt Lennox Globe. If you have fewer than four cards in your hand, return all non-green top cards from your board. Draw a five for each card return. Meld a card from your hand. Huh. Okay. That might be kind of fun. I don't think she wants to lose her mathematics yet, though. Um, and then she also can take this. You may reveal a card from your hand having exactly the same icons and type and number as a top card on your board. If you do... Oh, okay. So if you have a card that matches, um, okay, so if you have two cards that match, basically, and type an icon, you can go ahead and, and achieve a, a card of that value. That might be useful. Huh. So she could have achieved that. I think she's going to keep it because she might be able to use it to get more achievements later, especially now that her score is non-existent. I think she put it in her hand because Chinky's also going to be able to take a artifact and he would have been able to take that relic if it were in her achievements pile. So he gets the East India Company Charter. Choose a value other than five. Return all cards of that value from all score piles. For each player that return cards, draw and score a five. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. So Chinky might end up being a big scorer here. He's got five points already, and he could get, uh, well, he could only get five points off of using that card. But he's going to be able to score some off of this invention once he gets to use it on his next turn. Okay, Banana just decided to meld this from her special dig spot. Maybe it's called Display. I forget. Museum, maybe? Um... She melded it mainly for the icons. She wants to have more light bulbs so that um, Chinky uh, isn't able to copy the mathematics action. So she's got six now, he's got five. He might be able to catch up, uh, but she did that in Drew so that she could do that next time. Uh, poor Dancing Bear, she's kind of been struggling back in the twos. Uh, she did meld Fermenting, which is gonna let her draw cards faster. <laughs> it's kind of been what she's been doing. Um, and then maybe she'll get something later to uh, do something with those cards. All right, so Chinky's using this. He already used it. I, I took care of it off camera. Um, he chose a value two and got to score a two from, or he got to return a two from both his score pile and Dancing Bears. Um, and then got to draw and score a five for, for 
each of those cards returned. And then that doesn't even count as an action. Okay, that was just like a special thing he got to do. Then he's going to use an action to splay invention right. Banana would normally get to copy, except she doesn't have anything splayed left, so it's not going to do anything for her. And then he gets to draw and score four, and that's going to give him enough points to take this achievement. Okay, Dancing Bear kind of flagging behind in a lot of measures. She no longer has the score that she once had. She no longer has a lead in achievements, anything like that. She's going to turn to monotheism uh, for hope and go ahead and dogma it. So she melded it. First thing that's going to happen is she's since she melded a two over a two, she gets to put this here. Where she has a holy grail, which isn't going to be that useful to her right now because all the so all the achievements are up here. And so and she doesn't have any cards of those values. So that's not going to help. But she can make this demand, which is going to let her take this. And let's see, we got a blue, yellow, purple, and this. So she's going to score seven points off of that. I'm putting those in the wrong pile. Um, and then we'll draw and tuck a one for Chinky, and draw and tuck a one for Giraffe. And that's just more points for her. And then draw and tuck a one for Dancing Bear. Let's do a quick check-in with Banana. She's been using math to go up to seven so far. She covered up her math with publications, but now she's going to use her publications um, to rearrange these so math is back on top and splay her yellow cards up, giving her so many leaves, so many beautiful leaves. Dancing Bear's been racking up the points using monotheism. She got uh, a green card on her board, though, so that's going to really inhibit her colors just to, to just red. Um, now let's move on to Chinky. He's going to go ahead and use Astronomy. Yes. Draw and reveal a six. It's not green or blue, so he can't meld it. Does he want to meld this? No. That's a monotheism thing. So he's going to do it again. Draw and reveal a six. It's, it's green, so he gets to repeat the dogma effect. It's blue, so he gets to repeat the dogma effect. It's blue, he gets to repeat the dogma effect. It's purple, he doesn't, but that's going to give him the universe achievement. So Chinky now is in the lead, I think in a number of ways, but not in every way. Um, oh, but actually he doesn't get the universe achievement because I took the special achievements out in order to use these. Normally I don't do that if I'm playing with all the expansions, but since I'm just doing brown and purple and I'm trying to show you what that expansion offers, I thought I would include that rule. And I think with that, this is probably long enough. Um, that's going to be it for this edition of the Real People Multigame Solitaire Mega Tournament. It's, it's in some ways like not as fast of a game as the Cities game was, or it, maybe it just feels that way. Um, feels like people aren't achieving as quickly and doing things as quickly. I don't know why that is. I'm kind of just living it at this point. Haven't been reflecting very much, so maybe I'll take some time to reflect and come back to you next time on the Real People Multigame Solitaire Mega Tournament where we are playing Innovation Artifacts of History.